Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake. We're AV Data. Thanks for learning how to automate the boring with Alteryx. Alteryx is analytics. It's a purpose-built, end-to-end solution that breaks down barriers between business problems and business solutions. Alteryx allows customers to perform data analytics in a code-free slash code-light environment. Here we're going to take a look at an example of using Alteryx to process raw data, of which we can use a variety of sources from Excel workbooks to really ugly system data, as well as API connections and flat files, to produce a wide variety of finished products or deliverables. The key benefits of using Alteryx are automation, increased processing power, and minimizing human error. As you can see, we have the ability to document and audit workflows and understand what's happening each step of the way. In our first use case, we're going to take a look at processing USDA raw data based on uh, food and beverage imports from the last 20 years or so. And that data is provided in 14 sheets in one Excel workbook. We want to transform the data into a workable format so that we can produce uh, reports for each country based on the overall activity contained in the source Excel workbook. So again, the raw data format is fine for human eyes to read, but it is not system-ready data that is ready for downstream analysis. So clicking on the input data tool, we can quickly reference our source data, looking at all this challenging formatting we have in Excel. I don't even know how we'd aggregate that in Excel. It would certainly require a lot of clicks. And here in the Alteryx environment, we have uh, a couple of tools on the canvas already that help us read that data source, update the file path to each of those sheets, and then the third tool here is what we call a batch macro to aggregate, transform, and create one data set for us that contains all of the data points from those 14 original sheets. And here in the output data tool, we could easily write those data points to a CSV, Excel file, or database type, but we can also continue to process them and maybe do some reporting. So first from the transform category, we're going to grab the cross tab tool that allows us to create a pivot table like structure. Clicking on the incoming node on the left side of the tool, we can see the data as it flows into the tool. And here we're going to group by the food item and source country and create one column for each year, in addition to a total column on the far right for each of those items. As we execute the workflow or hit the run button, all the raw data is processed, turned into system ready data, and cross tabbed in 1.1 seconds. So now we've altered the structure of our data table. And one item we're not particularly fond of is that each of these fields has a sum underscore applied as a prefix. So using the dynamic rename tool, we can dynamically remove the sum underscore as a prefix from any set of fields that we so choose. So a couple of fields we don't need to remove the prefix on, so we can omit those from our listing. Next, we'll take a look at the table tool to create one table or reporting snippet for each of our source countries. So those 8,835 data points can be represented in 59 individual reporting tables. Without some additional context, it can be difficult to determine which table maps to which source country. So here we'll use the report text tool to add a header above each of these tables using the available field of source, which is the country name. And again, running the workflow, we can see the impact of adding this new tool. And we see that each of our tables now has a header with the country name dynamically inserted above the table. Our finished product is going to be an Excel workbook where each of the countries has its own tab. So using the layout tool within Alteryx, we can instruct Alteryx how we want to construct our final document with section breaks. And in this case, using the render tool to actually publish a temporary Excel document. In 2.5 seconds, we have gone from raw data provided on 14 sheets based on the items 
and we have produced a different Excel workbook with 59 sheets with one sheet for each country containing data points across the full spectrum of time. Thanks, Aaron. That's a great example to look at. Uh, the next one that we're going to look at is looking at system generated data and parsing that out. So what we have here is we have just some really gnarly data that's created by a system. It can um, be something like SAP. Um, it's not easy to decipher or to parse. It's easy for the computer to read, but not necessarily for people to read. What we can do is we can take the steps that are normally carried out in Excel. Um, we can build them into a repeatable workflow and only have to do that one time and not spend time over and over again doing these steps. We can also customize our reporting to fit our needs. In this case, we're gonna split out each report by the tax type that is being paid. So let's take a little bit closer look at this workflow overall. Um, so you can see how easy it is to um, just use a couple tools to parse out some data like this. Um, this is normally something that would take hours in Excel. Um, again, looking through our data, we have some headers that fit with the tables down below. Um, but there are some nasty fields in between. Um, kind also of a variable things. number of rows or, or data points within each of those sections, which can be a challenge. Yep. So you can see that in our uh, first kind of data prep container here, um, we're going from that one gnarly one and we're assigning sections to each of these and then splitting out our data um, between the section headers and the actual information that's in there. Uh, we're going to deal with those separately, but don't worry, we'll bring them back together. Uh, again, we're using uh, tool containers here to very clearly explain what we're doing in each chunk of the workflow. We're going to bring all of our data back together using a join tool. And now we have a very nice table that um, has all of that data that we were earlier presented um, in a readable format. Uh, we can use our, uh, our reporting tools to uh, create a PDF that shows each text type that is being paid by the company. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.